Hey everybody, your old friend Rasmus is back, and I brought the lovely assistant. Hey everyone! And we are here to review The Secret World of Arietti, or the, that Miyazaki movie about the old borrower's books. Whatever, it's really cool! It is, it is, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Arietti, make sure you hold on tight. <laughs> Did you see that? That's my girl. My mother, father, and I are all borrowers. <sighs> Promise you won't let our daughter get eaten or squashed like a bug. <laughs> we borrow things like soap and cookies and sugar. Things that humans don't miss if they're gone. <laughs> We've been seen and borrowers aren't supposed to be seen. No, wait. Don't go. <laughs> now me, I really enjoyed, nay, loved this movie. I love this movie. But what did you think, lovely? Oh, I cannot stop moving. I loved it so much. I can't believe it. I love it. Yes, yes, I love it. I mean, I never read the book The Borrowers. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly the whole story there. But seeing The Secret World of Arietti, I... Got the gist of it. I did. I did. <laughs> and then when I saw it, it was so good for me. I cried at several moments. Tears coming down my face. <laughs> so good. I never cried in a movie. Never. Yeah, really? Nope. Never. Never, never, you never. Never cried at a movie. Toy Story 3 and <laughs> the new Star Trek. Okay, there. Fine. Did you forget Up? And Up. Okay, okay. Just, just checking. Just checking. Some things I really loved about this movie, besides, you know, the great story, the amazing characters, the stellar animation, and the kick-ass sound work and music, was the character of the father. So many times we see all these different cliché fathers and father-daughter relationships, especially in animated kids' movies. Now I'm thinking, alright, there is a scene where Arietti, she sneaks off to see the human boy... And she gets caught by her father, and the dad finds out, and I'm thinking, oh man, here it comes. Here it comes, the King Triton speech of, how dare you, oh, I'm mad, this is what dads do, girl. But no, the dad's just, the dad is super chill. He's just like, hmm, already, humans can be dangerous. Probably, but still, we can't be too cautious. There are so few of us left. Okay, Papa. Seeing as how you talk to me like an adult and use rational speaking, I actually understand and still honor and respect you. Thanks. You almost <laughs> never see that. That's like what real fathers and daughters most in real life usually are. It's, ugh, it's so refreshing to see that in a movie, especially an animated movie that is directed more towards the younger audience. I love it. I love it. Another fantastic thing about this movie is the music. Oh. Am I right? The music takes this sort of folksy, fairy tale world sort of theme and uses it in the right places that would take otherwise dull, boring scenes of people just standing there talking and actually makes it almost enchanted. Really, it, it did. I wanted to sit there and... I just felt so at peace with the music. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to jump into the movie and I wanted to run through the grass with Arietti. I, I really, I really. Yeah. The to. Uh, how they so captured the world cool. of being like yay big <laughs> makes I mean, everything just look incredible. I think um, the borrowers, the little people, they can fit inside a dollhouse. So doll people yeah, don't don't classify them. Like yeah, they're that, about though. yay big. Yeah, I, I really like that part, how they could distinguish the sounds between the borrowers and the real people, because, or the humans, when, as I like to say. When, uh, you know, you just uh, run up and just pick up something like this, you know, something that sounds like this, Ooh. to them, sounds like crackling thunder. It's just... Like... Boom! You know... Just lifting like a latch or something. That sounds like, oh my god, it's an earthquake. It's so different, but, you know, it makes it more real to me. It makes it more real. The liquid. 
<laughs> no, I mean it. The liquid. The, uh, that was so <laughs> They They kind of do a thing that's like from Bugs Life when, you know, they're like yay big. A drop of liquid of like just water or melted butter is like the size of a softball and they can like hold it in their hand and it's really cool. One of the main characters, actually, if not one of the main characters, is the human boy of Sean. Bean. Yeah, he's a human being, and they call him Beans for short, which is kind of ironic because beans are small, but humans are big. So, yeah. This kid was, like, just really cool. I really enjoyed this guy's character. Uh, just hearing him talk, I don't know if it's just an American translation version, but just the way he says things, I'm like, this guy's going to grow up to be a wizard. No, no lie. Just how really? you... Yeah. How he sees, like, just little people and their fascinating tiny world and how he reacts to it. I'm like, dude, you're going to grow up and you're going to become a wizard or something. I can just tell. Instead of freaking out going, oh my god, tiny people! He's just like, hmm, fascinating. That is so awesome. I mean, yeah, the movie was really awesome. So cool. Yes! Alright, final thoughts. Mm -hmm. Lovely. What rating would you give this? Oh, uh, full prize, double the thumbs, work those thumbs! Yes! Glad, glad, glad you liked it. Um, I think this might be my favorite Miyazaki Studio Ghibli movie. Really? Yeah, I think so. On top of Princess Mononoke? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna have to say... Ponyo? Eh, Ponyo was okay. Ponyo was good. I like Ponyo, but uh, that's not my favorite. I think Secret World of Arietti might be my favorite. I'm probably gonna see it one or two more times before I make my final call, but as of now... I'm going to give this one of my highest awards, the Own It Award. Yay! Meaning, you go see this in the theater, you pay the full price, and then when it comes out on DVD, you buy that fancy pants collector's edition box set with the extra boxes and the pamphlets and the behind-the-scenes features or whatever. You get it! You know, it's a little better than mine. You know, I was going to say that too, but I didn't know that you had the Own It Award. Well, I didn't, I didn't know... What, I didn't tell you about the Own It Award? No, you did not tell me about it. All right, would you want to change your rating then? Yes. All right, both of us giving it a double Own It Award. Own It! Own It! All right. Well, I'm Rasmir. And I'm the lovely assistant. So until next time, everybody. Later. Later. The boy knows that we're here. What? Are we safe? I really don't think he intends to hurt us. Once a borrower has been seen, the human's curiosity can't be stopped. I see the my mother used to tell me stories about the little people who lived under the floors. Is that you? Maybe we could be friends? Strange things have been happening here, and I know why. Tell me, Sean, have you ever seen any little people in your room? Mm-mm. Can't say that I have. <laughs> Mother's been taken. <gasps> we have to go help her. Aren't you scared? Sometimes you have to fight for the things that are worth fighting for. We will find her. I saw you. I just wanted to find a way to protect you. We are borrowers, and as long as we have each other to live for, we'll keep on living. Arietti, <laughs> I'll never forget you. Why not what's taking Papa so long? Why is my first thought always that he got eaten by the cat? What's wrong with me?